Hello, this is part two. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you just saw the Mystic Dragon. Now I'm going to try to do the Megas remote, and hopefully you'll see everything. I'm going to go get uh, something else to make this a little bit taller. Okay, here we go. Right now I'm just stacking books up, trying to make this as tall as you can get so you can see this whole thing. Okay, now for the Mystic Titan Megazord. Okay, it took me a little bit to remember what the name was. Okay, so I'm going to move this back. Can you see the whole thing? Okay, yeah, I'm going to do it from right here. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to take off the Red Titan. I'm going to take off the pink pixie, which I don't call her since I don't know what her name is. Fold this part here back. And then pop off the blue part. Yeah. Take off the sword from the feet. Stand it up like that. And then you want to take the feet here and just fold it down until these pegs are even. Like that. Next, we want to take these parts here and just pull them down to become a foot. And then, um, there's little pegs in there. And no, there's like little hole clips in there. They'll attach them to the pegs. You want to make sure that this part here is on the outside of each leg. So, there's one foot. And there's another foot. Okay. Next, you want to take the wings here. You want to fold them out to here. Okay, I, I used to have them like this. I don't know. In the show, they have it like this, so I keep them like this. Next, you want to take the arms here and fold them out like that. Take the two minotaur or minotaur horns here and just fold them together to make one. Next, you want to take this here and split it. No, nope. yeah, yeah, I'll pull it back. You want to switch these down. Push them down a little bit past, like straight with the arms. Pull them down and push them forward by the elbows and then push them up and they'll clip in. It's pretty cool. Next, you want to take this little staff here that he's holding and you want to put the top of it into this little slot in here and then push it down and then push down the little staff and it becomes the sword. Um, next, you want to leave this like this. Put the arms up to there and push that up. Okay, straighten this guy out. Next, you want to take this Zeta, and there's a little clip on each side, and you want to attach it into his arm. Pull this little slot. Yeah, pull this little slot back here, and pull it down the head, and pull it back up. Pull this forward. Oh, it's getting dark. Pull this forward here, and then this clip. Yeah, clip it in. Then fold up the legs so it becomes a chest plate. Then next you want to fold down Zeta's arms. Next you want to pull up the head. There's these little clips right there. There you go, right there. And there's little holes in here and it'll attach in. Push down the head, push down those little things. And then just pull up the little witch's hat thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. In the show, like the sword would appear for magic right here, so I just store it right there. It's pretty cool, I think. I like the mystic. Yeah, it's getting dark out there. Not out. Uh. See, I'm trying to get. If you could see the here, the detail on the face, I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. I don't know, from looking at this angle, the chest looks like it's too big, so like the head like far back. But I don't know, if you look at it from, like the top here, it looks like it's perfect enough. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. It looks, um, pretty cool, I say. So, yeah, there's a little, I like the detail on here. It's like, this part here, like, rubbery, but this part is like, plastic, I don't know. 
don't know what you call that, latex or I don't know. This part, I don't know what this feels like plastic. It's not really it's rubbery like I guess it'd be rubber, I don't know. Some parts just confuse me. Uh yeah, I like the scheme color on this. Like if you look at it from here, I know you, you don't see any color. Look at it from here, it looks like really cool. Like one side's longer than the other side's short. Here, you can see that. Uh, there. One side longer, other side's short. I don't know. I like that. I think it's pretty cool. Let's see, let me try to get some light back. Uh the regular Mystic M on his hat and then a little messed up one on his chest. Oh, no, I like it. His sword. Um, he'd hold it in his hand here. Either hand doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm just the so, yeah. This is pretty cool. I like it. It's only 40 bucks, but you can't buy it in stores. Uh, you can buy it on eBay or Amazon. I think it's pretty cool. Let me show you the back. Oh, by the way, there's another mode, in case you didn't know, for the wings, if you don't want to have it, like, 20-foot wingspan. You can take the wings here and just fold them back up into chip. I'm just going to call them that since, again, I don't know what the name is. Hold down the legs, something like that. Pull out the wings to there. And give me a minute. I'll get it. There we go. Pull on the wings to there. And then just push them down, because that's how they're stored in the shell sometimes. So yeah, there goes, you just lost 20 foot wingspan. It's really good, now you can actually fit it on a regular shelf. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think, I like it a lot. So yeah, up next is the Solar, sh on, Solar Streak um, Megazord review. And then I'm going to show the two combinations between them. Uh, yeah, this is only the second train megas or whatever I think. The first was the super train from Light Speed Rescue. Uh so yeah it's pretty cool. These are the only two mystic force megazords I have. I the last Megazord I ever bought was the Solar Streak. I want the Mana Core and the Steridon though. But I'm gonna sell all, all my Power Rangers. So yeah, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.